So we're heading off, leaving Anaheim, leaving Disney. You upset? No, you're as sad. We're sad too. <laughs> so our next adventure, Los Angeles. We're going back to LA. Yay! Time for daddy to do some work now. from Edmonton. Uh, hatchback Mustang, we have to see. Hey, I'm glad to be in a Mustang. So yesterday uh, was my first day at Brave Entrepreneur, run by Phil McKernan. It's a group, the mastermind group that I actually spend a lot of time with. We come sort of meet three times a year, and this time it has to be in LA. Phil McKernan here, bringing all, all of us here in Los Angeles. Yeah, what are we up to? Well, we're gonna have lunch if they let us in, which they probably won't, knowing us. Uh, and then we're going to uh, Hollywood's uh, director. Uh, producer and he has a film company you guys don't know this yet you know now don't tell anybody else <laughs> and uh, we're gonna hang out with him for a few hours nice. in his uh, airport have a couple of conversations and then uh, from there go back to the hotel and I'm not telling you anything else come on man come on I was no. wanting some secrets no I'm not telling you anything else <laughs> <Lawrence Cup. laughs> We met up with a guy named Lance O'Connor. 25 years ago, he went from Belfast, bought a one-way ticket to Los Angeles. And uh, the only reason why he bought a one-way ticket is because he can, couldn't afford a, a return ticket. And he built a career over the next 25 years being founded Aerofilms, which is a film production company that does you know, hundreds of commercials and has just signed a contract with Apple to produce 50 films for Apple uh, for the iTunes catalog in the next five years. So one of the things that we talked about yesterday, how he actually made it. I mean, there's obviously a lot of things that actually happen, a lot of hustle, a lot of work. But one of the things he also said is that when he decides on a, on a thing that he's gonna action on, or maybe an investment, a movie investment, a commercial investment, a company investment, he goes all in. That's the key word, all in. Puts every effort into that particular thing. When he goes into a project, he's gonna go all in financially, the effort into it, the team, and really got me thinking about this. When I thought about all the things I've ever done in my life, the most successful in my career, then is when I actually gone all in. When I gone all into that particular project or all into that decision. When I moved from Perth to Sydney, I went all in, basically sold up everything and moved. Sold out my practice, sold my house, and moved the entire family to the other side of the country. When I moved from Canada to Australia, I went all in. Karen and I decided to put everything in there. We had $10,000 in our pocket, gave it, gave it a shot. One of the things that kind of came up for me when I heard him say that was, is all the times I've actually went all in, but all the times when I'm not going all in. I'm looking at the current projects and the current things that I'm doing. When am I just sort of one foot in one door and one foot in and out the other? And when am I actually not fully engaged? My question to you is, are you all in in your particular thing? Are you all in in your particular projects that you actually committed to? Are you all in in, in the career that you actually are in? Are you all in in the, in the path that you're going towards and the relationship that you actually have and the life that you actually designed for yourself? Are you all in? Because if you're not, why not? Why am I not doing that? And do I need to go all in or do I stop? And that's the other thing what I got from take away from him was he stopped. When he had a gut feeling that this is not gonna work out, he cuts ties, and emotionally too. That's the hard part for most people, is being be able to move away emotionally. Because oftentimes we hang on to something because we feel we just can't let go. He has built up this character to be able to let things go easily. So that when it doesn't work out, he, he lets it go and moves on. I think that's a very commendable characteristic to actually have in order to do business. Two things from this video. Are you going all in in your projects? Are you going all in everything you, you got? And number two, what things you need to cut ties from? What things that you need to let go of so they actually move on so you can actually go all in on the next project? <laughs> 